Hello, YouTubers. This is Saban Ben and Joe once again with Jag Sports Cards. Hey, I uh, went down to my local Walmart and ended up finding these 2022 Donruss uh, Holiday Blasters. Okay, I realize it's March. I think you've kind of seen a couple of videos already of these running around and um, the blaster boxes here and everything like that. So it's a bit odd to have them in March rather than in December. But again, with Panini, everything's kind of running late this year. So also picked up these um, hanger packs, these value packs, if you will. Uh, there's 30 cards in each pack. And uh, we'll go ahead and open those up right now. And we'll save these for later. And we'll go ahead and explain what we get in those. Also, I wanted to give a big congratulations out to Dominic Segreto. Um, he was the winner of our giveaway for the recent, uh, for the 2022, uh, Illusions Blaster Box comments giveaway. So, hey, man, congratulations, congratulations on that. And hey, thank you very much, everyone that participated. It, it was a blast to have, man. Thank you very much for the comments. Um, you guys make the channel. So, hey, I will have another one coming up pretty soon. I notice I'm under 200 subscribers, so we might have maybe a subscriber contest coming up pretty soon. Hey, keep an eye out on those. Um, hey, pass the word along. Uh, that, hey, if we get a certain amount, I'll, I'll come up with that number on a uh, future video. So we'll find out. All right, say, so, hey, without further ado, we will go ahead and start opening up the 2022 um, Donruss. Value packs. Okay, in these you are looking for the four exclusive press pa uh, press proof blue parallels, I should say. So, uh, and also the the chance of downtowns in these as well. I I I'm really I would really like to pull a downtown. I'm not gonna lie, um, but the chances of getting them in a retailer are really really slim. So hey man, if we can, we can. That'd be awesome. Especially pulling them on camera. If you haven't seen the Donruss design, there you go. Been out for a couple months already as far as with the hobby boxes and everything like that. So I I started to see these in my area. Um, I've also kind of seen the videos for them as well. I think I've a couple of three or four of them or what have you. So they have the holiday sweater packs in the blasters. Now, I haven't seen these yet. Um I haven't really looked for them, but I, they're probably out there. So let's see who we get and what. Uh huh. Here we go. We got Road to the Super Bowl. All right. Here we go. And we got the Press Proof Blues. And this is Michael Pittman. These are pretty cool little cards. Here we go. And we got a Gus Edwards. Got a rated rookie of a Sam Williams. He's been kind of the guy, too, that we kind of pulled over the. The course of the year. There we go. Robbie Anderson, who's now with Arizona, if he's still with Arizona. But yeah, Sam Williams, I think we pulled a couple of his cards as far as uh, the uh, autograph card and mosaic, I think, was one that we pulled. Another one was one of his patch cards, maybe, or a numbered rookie. So, yeah. Him and... I don't know, man. I'd like to have Kenny Pickett pick around... Uh, be the one that follows around and everything like that, that this year. Um, if you watch the, uh, the leaf, uh, well, or, see, I'm even saying leaf, the, uh, Panini rookies and stars hobby box. Um, I was kind of really reluctant to buy that one and ended up getting a Kenny Pickett auto. So I mean, hey, man, you can't, yeah, you can't have your little uh, phobias about getting a certain product. Cause Hey man, something's going to come up and get really big on it. You know, so, hey, give everything a shot. There we go. Rated rookies there. And got a, a 2002 Donruss. And we got the blue press proof. proof. Jamal Williams. Where's he going to end up? I He he found a home in Detroit. There we go. Mac Jones. So, hey, I'd like to see him stay there. Wandale Robinson. And Legereus Sneed. All right. Here we go. Those are our value packs, and those blue are what you're looking for in those. Okay, also, here we go, and these are the blasters. These, uh, like I said, they're March, so they're holiday blasters, and what you're looking for in these are the rookie holiday sweater memor memorabilia cards. Okay, also, in the there is a chance of getting the downtowns in these as well. So, you know, hey, 
worth a shot? Like I said, the the off. I mean, you're, I know, see a lot of social media as far as I don't, I'm not an Instagram guy, so I don't know about that. But I see a lot of on Twitter where you'll see, hey, I just pulled this downtown out of a retail or what have you. But wow, I mean, they're pulling a lot of boxes. I mean, they're pulling a lot of boxes, a lot of packs. Um, they probably pulled at least a hundred packs opened a hundred of them just to get maybe the off chance of getting that downtown so hey it's worth a shot you know we get one hey that's that's the rare one that's the rare one there we go pc for myself so this that's i guess that would be the search right now for any kind of donruss product coming out right now for me would be to pull a downtown anything like that okay here we go we've got a pierre strong which is probably the rookies there we go yeah there we go those are still nice little cards. I like those. There we go. Danny Gray. My Jay Sanders. The rated rookies there. And second time. But these are interesting. These little manufactured packs. Oh, that's right. Forgot about that. The optic rated rookie previews as well. The the red and green. Forgot about those too. But yeah, those are pretty cool little cards. That'd be nice to pick up a picket or something like that. And I've noticed that a lot of the pictures that they've shown with uh, this year's Donruss or, or this year's Panini products have been from the Super Bowl, you know, with both the Rams and uh, the Bengals. So that's kind of cool for me this year. Still looking for more and more of the uh, the champs are here. You know, that that's a special one for me because, like I said, they, they won. Hey. Here we go. We got an Isaiah Spiller, and that is in the new or the preview optic rated rookies. Uh -huh. There we go. Put that off on the side. So, well, heck, man, even that, that, uh, so what happens with Matt Corral now that the big trade has been made with, uh, Chicago and Carolina? Now, I, I don't know. I think the kid could probably catch on somewhere, you know? Um, so who knows? Here we go. Fans of the game. Marky Mark. There we go. We got a Kobe Bryant and we got a Kayvon Thibodeau. So I, I don't know. Let's see. I, I They're going to go quarterback. There's no way they don't go quarterback. Um, so again, who you go into, who are they going to get? Anthony Richards, Richardson from uh, Florida had a nice little, there we go, PC. Um, nice little combine, I guess. That kind of shocked a couple. Of, well, if you've seen the film with him, you know what he is. Um, a lot of rumors that he might be, you know, the first pick. If you lift, if you listen to uh, the experts or what have you, that like Mel Kiper, um, he likes the what's the Levi's kid, kid from uh, Kentucky. He likes him a lot. Um, then there's the Bryce Young. There's the C.J. Stroud. This is a very, as opposed to last year, was a kind of, you would have to say it's a very weak quarterback class last year with only one being taken in the first round. So, I mean, this one seems to be a very healthy one as well. So, hopefully, they end up kind of producing. But then again, hey man, it always happens year in, year out. You always have that big class of, okay, this one's going to be this or what have you, and nothing happens. Okay, here we go. We're going to, go into, save that one for the last. <coughs> and here we go. All right, we've got the rated rookies first. Uh-huh. Now we go through the cards. Uh, hmm. I mean, I've seen them already. Hopefully, I mean, the, the chances of getting something as far as with multicolor in it was kind of cool. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just flip that over and say, hey, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow. What a nice surprise, man. What a nice surprise. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Kenny Pickett is the kid that's come following us around. You know, maybe I need to buy some more product. <laughs> that, that is a huge surprise for me. Nice, nice. And it's a double. That's what's really cool about it is that it's a double. Um, a double patch. Now I understand they're manufactured patches or what have you, but it's a double with the for the only quarterback taken in the first round this last year, Kenny Pickett, 
And a pretty good little wide receiver in George Pickens, man, had some moments. So it looks like the sweater, like a rookie sweater. All right. Okay. I don't believe that's numbered, but yeah, that's a nice little duel. Nice. All right, man. All right. Hey, so that was nice. That was cool. That was a, a nice surprise, I should say. All right. Nice. So... There we go. All right. So I guess out of the the Christmas sweaters, I guess that's the one you want, right? You want the Kenny Pickett. You want it. You want that. You want the quarterback. Or I don't know. Is there is there Brock Purdy in this product? As far as uh, just I know I realize the rookies, rated rookies or what have you, there is. But is there a sweater of Brock Purdy? You know. Because that seems to be the only other quarterback that would be someone sitting there, as far as interest-wise, this last year's quarterbacks. So, we go. Son Haskins, which is the, there we go, the canvas. Those are cool. I like the canvas, if you can kind of see. Pierre Strong, Evan Neal. That, I'm sorry, but I'm still chuckling over that, man. Like I said, hey, I'd love it if Kenny Pickett was the kid that followed us around all the time i mean it seems we picked up a couple of his stuff here and there not not rare rare so well you know the court the the autograph was a pretty rare one that's the 50 but uh yeah it was nice you know so i'd like him to be one that follows us around that'd be nice uh-huh ingram this is going to be a very interesting off season around the nfl to see where a lot of people end up here we go, Jamison Williams. Speaking of, I'm really hoping, you know what, man? I'm going to go ahead and sleeve him up. But you know what? I'm really hoping that he catches on. I think he's got the potential to be um, a pretty good little receiver, especially with that whole, with Justin Jefferson coming out the same way and, and the, the whole LSU wide receivers. He seems to be... Like I said, hopefully he catches on. Hopefully, man. So, let's see, all he's got to do is get himself open, man. Get him open. Jared will get him the, go the, the ball. Goff will get it to him. Go Goff's a good little quarterback. I mean, I understand he won the Super Bowl with Stafford. I do understand, man. I, I Grateful. Grateful for it. Um, but, hey, man, I, I like Goff. I like Goff. I, I watched him from being a freshman at Cal all the way up. Until, you know, well, even now, I still watch Detroit games. So, Matt Corral, there we go. Speaking of where he ends up, I th I still think he's a good little quarterback. Um, got hurt, what, his senior year at Mississippi? Senior? But, yeah, so, I, I don't know. Just one of those, a, I can't say a Johnny Manziel type, but... He did beat Alabama when he was at Ole Miss, and that's Ole Miss. It's not like Ole Miss is getting the great athletes unless they go out and go pay for them, I guess. But, you know, <laughs> um, I don't see that happening too much now. So, I mean, he, he's he's a good little quarterback. Let's see what happens with him. Very interesting to see. Very interesting. Uh -huh, here we go. Yeah. Ah, I see the Bailey Zappy around the back. No, that would have been a really good one like six months ago, man. Bailey Zappy. That's another one. Mac Jones was in. I, that, he, how hot was Mac Jones? Now it, it's, they're kind of in the shuffle now, I guess. So I guess that's the way the hobby's going. There we go. DJ Moore, the newly traded DJ Moore to Chicago. Go Jamal Charles. Hey, and we got a Bailey Zappy. There we go. Uh huh. So I, again, is he going to be trade bait, Bailey Zappi? Speaking of off-season moves, is he going to be that? Um, seems to have garnered garnered interest. So I mean, you know, seemed to like him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Elam Cook, which we pulled a one of one printing plate auto patch of his rookie, which was nice. I want to say out of XR. If you watch the previous videos, you'll kind of see those. There we go. Uh huh. Shoot, 
And here we go. With the patch card is going to be oh, another one. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> the Kenny Pickett, Kenny Pickett saga continues. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, if you, and, and this is, this is cool because this one is a multicolored one, man. This one's nice. <laughs> Here we go. There's, these are the two hits that we got of our blaster boxes. For the 2022 holiday sweater editions of the uh, Donruss retail blaster boxes. All right. So, hey, that was a fun rip. I don't know. You Let me know what you think. That was a fun rip. <laughs> Especially with those cards right there. Okay. Hey, again, man, I am chuckling. I, I This was an enjoyable break. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you very much. I am Sable Man and Joe. Um Thank you very much for the view. Again, I appreciate you all very, very much. Um, hopefully, we'll get some prism in coming in pretty soon. I would say March fifteenth is the opening. Maybe I get a maybe I get a box beforehand. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> okay. So hey, thank you very much for the view. Appreciate it very much. Again, thanks to everybody that participated in the comment giveaway. I appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, we can grow the channel a little bit more and go from there on. And you can kind of say, hey, man, you were there from the beginning. All right. Hey, thank you again. Appreciate you. Everyone be safe out there. All right, man. We'll see you guys next time.